Welcome everyone. Uh, this is the second edition of Bioinference. Uh, so this is Bioinference 2023. My name's Ben Lambert. Uh, I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Exeter and I'm one of the co-organizers of this event. It's great to see so many faces, new and old, uh, and there's also a number of people joining online. So welcome to those who are joining us um, from wherever they are in the world. Um, we're also very lucky with our location. Um, you may not realize it, but you're actually sitting in a part of the Pitt Rivers Museum, um, a museum of archeology span and anthropology. The museum was founded in 1884 by Augustus Pitt Rivers, who was an English officer in the British Army, an eth ethnologist and an archeologist who donated his uh, large private connection to the university. The museum was constructed on the back of the existing Oxford University Museum of Natural History, which had been finished about three decades earlier. Uh, and whilst I hope that everyone amasses in the Balfour Room where our posters are um, during lunch, I really do recommend that people do also go through to the museum. You can just get through that way. And the one thing we do ask is that you don't take your teas, coffees, biscuits and sandwiches through um, because it would be quite embarrassing if, if someone was to spill a coffee on like some priceless uh, ethnographic object. So if you could not do that, that would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, I really do recommend that you go through and, and check out the museum. It's a fascinating collection of anthropological objects which are arranged according to their use opposed to where they have come from. So you can go and look at, let's say, um, ships um, that have been constructed and there'll be ships from Indonesia, ships from uh, uh, Canada and places like that. So, you know, there, there are lots of different objects, uh, but not according to their, their location, according to their use. Um, in fact, we are actually especially lucky um, because in the deed of gift from Augustus Pitt Rivers, um, it was a precondition that the museum be built to house the collection, uh, to, to house his collection and used for no other purpose. And so whilst I would like to believe that some of our statistical models uh, will one day form collections of, uh, for future anthropologists, I suspect we may have slipped through the net there somewhat. So last year was our, our first meeting uh, and uh, you know since we are, are a uh, statistics meeting now that we have two data points one last year one this year I think that we all feel comfortable in extrapolating and saying that now the conference is going to continue from henceforth annually from from here onwards and last year it was held in the Maths Institute here in Oxford um, so not too far away from here. So why did we actually create this conference? Um, this is our kind of strap line that's on our website. But actually the, re the original reason we created Bioinference was because COVID prevented uh, researchers, particularly those early in their careers, from meeting, mixing, and developing their own networks of researchers. Um, but the other main reason we created uh, and continue this conference is because there are lots of people working on modeling biological systems uh, and with this comes a need to fit those models to data. Uh, accordingly, there are many of us who, who use methods for performing inference and or develop such methods. And these groups, applied, statistic uh, applied mathematicians and statisticians, are generally quite separate. Uh, they publish in separate journals and they often speak quite distinct, distinct mathematical languages. So we hope that this conference plays host to an annual conversation between these two groups. Uh, and uh, we remain committed to our, our original cause of ensuring that the conference is a moment in time where barriers between senior and junior researchers temporarily fall and those of all backgrounds, academic and otherwise, can meet and discuss statistical inference for biological systems. And because of this, our organising committee is heavily weighted towards those early in their careers and I'm now going to embarrass everyone by asking them to stand up who's involved in the co-organising um, committee. So could those of the, us who are part of the co-organising group uh, please stand up? So we've got Ioana here uh, from the University of Oxford, Ioana Borosh, uh, Tom, Tom Thorne from the University of Surrey. Um, we have Fergus who is sitting in the other room there letting, letting people in uh, and taking the, the registration. We've got 
Massimiliano Tamburino from the University of Warwick. Um, we also have Dave Gavigan from here in Oxford, who should be here this morning, so he'll probably be joining in a bit of time. But I also want to highlight uh, Chon, Aidan, uh, and Richard, who are actually joining remotely. Uh, and I, uh, and uh, Chon is at the University of Macau, Aidan is the, at the University of Maine in the US, uh, Richard is at is, uh, the University of Oxford. Um, but I particularly want to single out Chon, who for two years now has helped to organize the conference remotely from the University of Macau, and in neither year has he been able to attend in person. So I think it's amazing that he continues to help us to organize this event. I also want to thank our, our generous sponsors, uh, the Doctoral Training Center here at Oxford, uh, the Department of Computer Science, and uh, the European Society for Mathematical and Theoretical Biology. So thanks very much to them. So all info you could possibly need about this conference are is on our website, um, so bioinfrastic.github.io. So the timetable, for example, is up there, and I'm not going to go through that now. Um, the posters for our poster session are in the Balfour room, so that's where everyone was just sitting before having coffees. Um, coffee, tea, and biscuits will be served in the Balfour room. Um, we are using disposable cups, and part of the reason we ask that people sign their name on the cup is so that you continue to use the same cup over the next couple of days so that we're not just wasting cups. So if you could try and do that, that would be much appreciated. Um, lunch is also going to be served in the Balfour Room uh, from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. each day. And today uh, we have a conference dinner which is taking place at the Rickety Press Pub um, in Jericho. Uh, if you do wish to come but you have not yet signed up, um, please speak to one of us you'll probably be able to come anyway. Um, it, it's a pub, so at the worst, you can just come as a sort of private patron and, and, and visit the pub, that's fine too. Um, if you do want to uh, do something between the end of the conference and the start of the meal at 6.30, uh, I'm gonna be leading a charge down to the Harcourt Arms in Jericho, um, which is just sort of next door to the Rickety Press pub. Um, from, uh, we'll, we'll leave here, but we'll be down there roughly from 5.15 to the start of the meal. Finally, uh, we have some prizes. Uh, we have the prize for the best ECR poster, the best ECR talk. Uh, last year, the best ECR talk was won by Solveig van der Weg uh, at Oxford, and the best ECR poster was won by Joel Dyer, who has also happened to be at Oxford. Um, I think that everyone here, with the exception of the organizing committee, is involved in voting uh, for either of these two prizes, and you should have received an email from us about that. So uh, if you haven't received that, um, please let us know. Uh, and we ask that you uh, cast your votes by 3 p.m. tomorrow, because then we've got the prize giving soon afterwards. This year, additionally, um, we have introduced a Bioinference Reproducibility Award which seeks to reward those who've made a particularly strong effort in making their work publicly available and reproducible. So we have a, a number of nominations for this award uh, and the committee have spent the last week in reviewing the various uh, repositories that people have shared with us. So we'll be able to uh, present an award for that as well tomorrow. <laughs>